Hi everyone, my name is Chloe, I'm a threat analyst at WordFence, and today I'd like to walk you through what the exploitation of the two vulnerabilities that we discovered in the Quiz and Survey Master plugin would look like. Now, there's just a couple of things I'd like to go over before I begin. Uh, the first thing is that uh, we are running a vulnerable version of the plugin 7.0.0 on our target site. And we do have a quiz enabled currently that has a file upload question. So the question type is set to file upload right here. And we have our file upload limit set to 10,000 and allow file type set to text file. And so for the first vulnerability that we're going to be exploiting, which is an arbitrary file upload vulnerability, it does require that there is a quiz enabled with a file upload question type. Uh, so if you don't have one of those, then you're not susceptible to being exploited by this vulnerability. Um, so I'll go ahead and open this up in a new tab. And we're going to go ahead and just upload a .txt file. That's what's allowed currently. Um, open it. It does the update or it does the uh, upload. And we're going to submit our quiz. Everything was successful. And so we're going to go over to Burp now, and we're going to take that file upload request, send it to the repeater. And now we're going to make a couple of modifications. Um, so the first thing is that we don't need our cookies because it can be exploited by unauthenticated users. Uh, we're going to change our file type name to scratch.php. And we're going to have our content types set to text plain still, um, as that's what allows us to go through the filters. Um, and then we're going to create like a little PHP script, so PHP, PHP info. And this is just to demonstrate that that PHP file does get executed when we access it. I'm going to go ahead and send the request. And we get the file URL returned in our response. We'll go ahead and copy that. Go back over here and we'll access that file directly. And we can see that we get the PHP info information and um, that PHP code was executed um, and we were able to upload that PHP file. So the next vulnerability uh, I'd like to show you is how we can delete arbitrary files even when the quiz um, doesn't have file upload enabled. So let's hop into that real quick. So let's head back on over to the quiz. Um, for this vulnerability, you don't need to have the file upload uh, question type enabled. Um, but for demonstration purposes, I'm going to keep this enabled uh, to show you the intended functionality and what goes wrong. So we're going to go ahead and open that quiz up again. We're going to go ahead and upload our .txt file. And here you can see that we do have a delete button so that we can delete this file if we no longer want to submit it as part of our quiz. So we'll go ahead and delete it. And you can see that there's no file chosen anymore. So now I'm going to go ahead and go to burp. And I'm going to find that request that deleted the file. And I'm going to send it to a repeater. And so the first thing I want to do is delete the cookies to show you that this can happen as an unauthenticated user. And I'm going to go ahead and change our file URL to the path of wp-config. And I'm going to go ahead and send the request. And we can see that the file removed successfully. And let's go ahead and see if that's the case on our site. Refresh the page. And you can see that we are prompted to now set up our WordPress site. So I have effectively deleted the wp-config file, which establishes a connection with the database. And I can now go ahead and take over the site by connecting my own database and potentially pivoting and getting access into your hosting account. So this is a pretty severe vulnerability. Um, we highly recommend updating to the latest version. Um, at the time of creating this POC video, it's 7.0.1. Um, updating is going to help keep you protected and make sure that your site doesn't become a victim to any exploits targeting this vulnerability. And as always, WordFence does have firewall rules to keep you protected as well in the event that you're not able to update right away.